Hello and uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover more about uh, the JavaScript interview questions. But the primary thing you need to understand what interviewer can ask. So these are some uh, points which you should always remember when you are facing a JavaScript interview. So what are those? What are, what is a built-in type? So what is the type of operator to check the type of uh, null, undefined, boolean, array, and everything? So now type conversion, converting to the boolean, converting to the primitive, con converting. Uh, what is a triple equals operator and comparison operator? Right. After that, uh, I can zoom this. After that, you should be aware of prototypes how the prototype inheritance works, how you can assign the prototype of function A to the function B, how the new function actually works. Whenever you say the new object or new function, what it is doing, wh what it is creating, what all different internal steps which are getting involved. So whenever you create a new function object, uh, what all different things happen, right? Instance of to check the instance that A is instance of B or not. What is this scope? You should be aware of uh, how this object, how this keyword work in JavaScript. Okay, scopes and closures and then deep copy and shallow copy. How we are doing, how we are able to do a deep copy and shallow copy. Shallow copy means you still having the reference like A equal to B. That is a shallow copy and whenever you do, do JSON dot stringify object B and assign it to the object A. It means you are creating object A altogether, new object which doesn't have a link with the B. Then modularization in JavaScript that happens with the different type of modules, AMD, CommonJS, UMD, uh, ES6 modules. Then debouncing throttle. These are the important things when we talk about the DOM events. Inheritance in JavaScript, ES6 or ES5. Promise implementations or async await or callback. Uh, then generator implementation, how, what is, because generators are new things, uh, how they are actually behaving, how they are dealing with the asynchronous stream. Then we talk about the flat, flat map, reduce, filter, uh, map, all these functions for each. Then we talk about async await and proxy objects. Then uh, we talk about the regular expression. So all these things are important when you just go to a JavaScript interview process. Even if, if there is some framework also there, then you should be aware of all these things. That your framework is MVVM, MVC or V. How the framework is doing a dirty checking or uh, how, how they are managing the, the change reduction in the application. You should be aware of how the object or defined property works, how, what all different properties you are defining in an object property. While adding a new property to an object, you can define enumerables uh, or configurable all these properties. What is virtual tom because it is common in Angular 2 or it is there in the React, so it is there in the view. So what actually the, the virtual dom is doing? Then framework uh, you should be talking about like React lifecycle, Angular lifecycle, how the set state is working in React, how the component communication works in Angular, how the component data passing in the React component. Uh, how the state is being managed in Redux, how the state is being man managed in uh, Angular applications, does the Angular provides uh, two-way kind of communications like source to target and target to source using the, the ng model binding or how the React is providing the one-way data flow and how it is managing the state using the Redux workflow. All these questions are like uh, common questions which you should be aware of. Then we talk about the browser like DOM events. We talk about the framework, we talk about the JavaScript, now the browser. What is the event delegation, event registration, event propagations, all these events, right? How the cross domain actually works, how when to use a JSONP, right? What is the event loop in the Node.js, yes, what is the event loop in the browser? How we can store the data onto the browser using cookies, using session storage, using local storage. How the service workers are working in the browser. What is the rendering mechanism in the browser? Like, if you talk about the React, how it is rendering the DOM, how it is rendering the component onto the DOM node, how it is happening with the, the Angular. 
okay so difference between the load event and dom content loaded event reevent and reflow all these things you should be aware so we will talk about these one by one throughout the javascript because this is just initial i will be covering a lot in this playlist 